what's next? Oh yeah, we got light. Okay, I think my focus issue is resolved. Um, so you got a power switch to turn the siren on, and then let me roll the window down again. So then you got you know air horn. There's that siren, and then so there's whale, yelp, T3. There's that, and then uh, and then there's all this. Oh yeah, there's also a PA here. So the PA system. There's that. I, uh, all right. So okay, somebody was trying to ask me a question. Anyway, uh, so basically you can flip each one of these things. Um, so you just have them on, and then you just hit the master, and then bam, everything goes. And then. Um, you don't have to sit there and go click, 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 click every time you go code three. So um, there's that. And then the the high beam flashers, <clears throat> they're smart high beam flashers. So they only kick in when you put the the, sh the shift selector in drive. That way you're not blowing out. You know, if you're parked in front of someone's house, because you know they're really bright, they won't be blowing everybody away with your high beam flashers. Um, and then. Uh, Okay, so, um, anything, and then the, obviously the flood, there's floodlights and the magnifiers. Let's get out and I will, um, we're, we're, should be lit up right now, yeah. So you can see all the lights are going. These uh, lights, I mean, all of these lights are programmable. So if you don't like this particular flash pattern, it can be changed. Um, I can do it for you, which would probably be easier, uh, or, you know, whatever. But it's a combination of spasmodic and, hey, you know, watch out, we're right here. So, um, but you can see the, like, the upper, those 9 by 7s um, they're never off, so it's either one side or the other is going. Same thing with the quarter panel, and um, and then back here you got the rear light bar. Um, the rear load lamps are on because the rear doors are on. Let me close the doors, and those load lamps will go off. Um, and then that uh, that light in the middle. That's the third brake light that's up in the middle there. So there's uh, some flashing ambers and then a bunch of reds going. And then even the clearance lamps strobe. So you see those corner clearance lamps in the corners of the box? Those strobe also. And then the light bar does have end cap strobes too for a little extra. So there's that. Um, let me turn on the floodlights. And you can see with that, uh, we'll get all that going. I'll turn the rear loads on also. Oh, now, you know what? I forgot. There's a relay out. There is a relay out for these left scene lights. I forgot to change it. So the magnifier is going to go on. You can see it takes about a minute for it to get up to its full intensity. And once it's up there, it's uh, pretty bright. It puts out a lot of light. And then, um, see on this side, you can see this one's getting up there. Uh, I mean, it's bright to the point where you can't even look directly at it. And, um, so there's that. Um, and then, oh yeah, here's these guys that are just kind of... <laughs> They're synced together, and um, those can be changed to do, I mean, you can make them steady red if you want, or there's, I think there's 22 different flash patterns. So, and you can see that one's getting up there now, too. <coughs> yeah, I got a bit of a cold. Oh, yeah, and then just the rear, uh, <coughs> the rear load lights. I think I showed you that. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Let me show you the engine compartment. And then, uh, 
Gonna have to call it a day. the right coolant in it, as you can see. It's got that yellowish golden hue. That's Motorcraft coolant. <clears throat> you don't ever want to see green coolant in a power stroke. It's too thick and it, it doesn't go through the oil cooler the way that it should. And it'll gum it up. It'll gum it up, clog it up, and then your EGR cooler will go out, and then you've got problems. So, here's this guy. Um, we'll look at the other one. Next weekend, I'll have time to look at the other one. Uh, it's exactly like this, except it doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have a power O2 lift. Um, if you need two ambulances and you need a power O2 lift, I can certainly put one in. Uh, the other ambulance if you want, uh, but it just has, you know, regular, it's it's a Zyco, it's a yellow rack, but it's just not a, it's not powered, you have to pick the tank up and put it in there, and there's that magnifiers up there now, so there's that, if you have any questions, um, you know what, maybe I can take you for a quick, I'm going to take you for a quick drive, Make sure all the lights are off. Alright, let me uh let me just go up here. Alright. Seems like you need this with one hand. Great pickup. We're not going to go far, but so you can see this thing is, right, here we go. doesn't have license plates so I don't want to go <laughs> go too far. <laughs> So uh, yeah, this is that. That this is the one that had the transmission rebuilt, and uh, it works great. And um, you can hear when we went up. You can hear the turbo cycling through and everything. Let me put my seatbelt on so this thing will shut up. Well, we're gonna get out in a second. Anyway. All right. Well, anyway, here's um. This, the, here's this email. So if you have any questions, um, you can give me a call or send me a, uh, you can email me at chrismedic at yahoo.com and uh, I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you only want to buy one, I'm certainly open to just selling one. I would like to sell them as a pair. Um, so, you know, just tell me what your needs are and, uh, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.